Hey everybody, it's day three of the uh, 30 day Facebook live challenge and I almost forgot about today. I've got to get better about that. Um, I've been painting my booty off all day today, but I couldn't do Facebook live while I was painting because I was getting caught up on uh, the Bachelorette finale and that would be my two year old in the background. The ponies will be back on in a minute. It's a commercial, okay? So I'm hoping I can squeeze this in in about 20 minutes or so while she watches My Little Pony on TV and eats a snack. And um, hopefully I won't have to interrupt the video to run and give somebody something because I'm expecting somebody to come pick up a door hanger. So this is real life. Um, I had already started on this before I remembered. So I'm painting a teacher's apple and going to do it the color of like a Granny Smith apple because um, they wanted green. So let me get my video pulled up here so that I can see your comments. Tell me hey as you come in. Tell me where you're from. Tell me if this is the third day in a row you're watching me. I know some of you guys haven't been able to catch me live every day, and that's okay. The videos will be available on my page for you to watch back later if you need to. Um, I had somebody asking me the other day. They said, I'm not sure you're seeing my comments, but other people's comments have a red dot beside them. If you're watching this uh, later and it's not live, um, I won't be able to see your comment while I'm painting because it, you're watching it recorded. If you're uh, watching it live, your comments will have a red dot beside them and that means that I am able to see them live. Um, but even though you're commenting and you're, if you're watching this back later, if you're commenting and I'm not able to see it until later, I always try to check the comments and uh, answer your questions and whatnot and I really appreciate them. So. Feel free to leave me a comment whether you're watching this live or not. Yay, Becky, third day in a row. You must have it set to notify you when I go live. Um, how did you do that? Because I can't remember. I, I think there's a button or maybe something that pops up a few minutes after you're watching the video that asks if you would like to be notified if I'm live. I can't quite remember. Um, so if you know how to do that, Becky, let us know. Tiffany, your third day also. Yay! Are you notified as well, Tiffany? I'm, I'm kind of curious. Um, I guess I should tell you what I'm doing. I'm using palm leaf and kiwi, and I'm just kind of mixing them together to get this Granny Smith apple color. Because um, the palm leaf was a tad too dark and the kiwi was a tad too light. And I'm not really mixing really good in my egg carton here because I want it to kind of be naturally streaky so that it looks, you know, like a real Granny Smith has streaks of different shades of green going through it. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just laying down a good color of that. So what's everybody up to today? I've been home all day painting and like I said, getting caught up on my guilty pleasure, the Bachelorette TV show. You get notified, that's wonderful. You're notified too, Linda. I noticed you were on, on here yesterday. You hope you don't get trouble at work. Where do you work at, Linda? I'm not sure I even know that. Maybe you won't. You could always uh, turn the volume down and just watch if you're afraid that my voice will get you in trouble. I've had people do that before, watch it on mute. They can't hear me, but they can see me at least. It automatically notifies you when you follow the page. Oh, I guess it pops up like as a notification, but I don't know. I think there's a way though to set it up to where it will like ding on your phone or something maybe I don't know I would have to google it because I, I know it does pop up for me whenever I'm like following other people uh, and lets me know when they're alive if I'm already on Facebook it'll let me know so I'm glad it is letting a few of you guys know I know a lot of people are like oh man I wish I'd caught you live but that's okay you can catch me another time because like I said I'm gonna be doing this for 30 days in a row so you've got plenty of opportunities and today I'm just trying to knock out as many orders as I can. This green is covered pretty good already, but I'm just taking a little bit of this kiwi color and streaking it through and giving it more of a rounded apple shape. So, you're an accountant. Ah, they won't mind. You can still work with numbers and watch me paint at the same, not the same time, right? anybody else been painting today or getting any craft projects done? Let's see. What else am I going to do? I'm, while this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint the leaf up here. And I hate to paint the leaf like the same exact color. 
So I'm gonna paint it the palm leaf color, but I'm gonna add one drop of black to it so that it will be just like a shade darker. This doesn't work with every color, but with the green it, it does. And only one drop because I don't want it to be super dark, but I want it to be just a tiny shade darker. And I'm gonna not mix it perfectly so you can kind of see that black streak going through it a little bit. Hopefully that shows up on the film. I think you can kind of see that. But I want it to be a little darker than the apple because you don't want it to be like the same exact color. I've already done one of these. I posted a picture of it a few days ago and then one of her teacher friends wanted one as well. They work at the same school. I think they've actually got back to school night going on tonight, so hopefully I can get this to her in time for it. We'll see. So, okay. The leaf is just a little bit darker than the apple. And you can kind of see the color variation going through it. Thank you so much to you guys who have shared this video. Um, I've had so many new likes on my page lately, and it's awesome. It's kind of brought a lot of new people to my page that maybe hadn't heard of me before. And, uh, gotten me some new orders and stuff like that so it's really been a blessing I appreciate all the shares and the likes and the comments the comments help too so I laughed because when I got off my video it wasn't last night the very first night that I did it day one I painted that USA door hanger and for those of you guys watching you know that my husband was playing video games in the background and being super loud I told him later, I said, I got on to you two or three times during the video and tried to get your attention and let you know that um, you were being really loud. And he's like, oh, I had no idea. I didn't even hear you. So I had to pull up the video and kind of show him where I was yelling at him. And he got a kick out of it. He thought it was hilarious. I said, well, I guess can't can't be helped. So right now he's in the bedroom. He's hiding. But my two-year-old's hollering to get down. I'm sure she's wanting to come over here and join in the fun. Okay, I just painted the apple stem nutmeg brown. And I may do another coat on that in a little bit. But um, I'm fixing to do some polka dots on this green. But I may have to go hair dry real quick. If you guys don't mind waiting just a second. Because it is still very wet. I guess I got it kind of thick. So hang on just two seconds. I try to make sure my hair dryer is plugged in over here closer to me and this time I forgot to do that because I was kind of jumping on at the last minute. I can't change it to Mickey Mouse right now. Just watch My Little Pony. Okay, so I'm just going to do these polka dots real fast and just going to use my half inch brush with the square tip. Nothing special about it. It's just like my favorite brush though. I use it anytime I'm trying to put down plenty of paint at one time. I'm just going to do some pretty big polka dots. And some of these may require a second coat um, just to make them look really white, white. There's no rhyme or reason to exactly how to do these. I just go around one way and around the other way and make sure it meets up. And not all my polka dots are uniformly perfectly the same size and they're not all perfectly round. But once you get done, you won't be able to tell. It'll be cute and busy and won't matter. Like this. 
He's so cute. Now, the, the last time I painted this one, it reminded me of a, a caramel apple. And I could swear I started like, you know how sometimes memories of things are so strong you can like remember a smell? I swore I could smell like the smell of green apple with caramel on it. And it had me craving a caramel apple for about a week. Hello everybody. I see lots of people joining and jumping on. Say hey to me. Tell me what you're up to. Are you at work? Are you at home? What you doing? This is day three of my Facebook Live challenge. I'm really hoping I don't like flake out and completely forget to do a day because I almost forgot to do it today. Um, but I was starting to put the green on this and then remembered and jumped on real quick. So this is kind of like a last minute Facebook Live video. I'm not super prepared today, but I've just been sitting here painting all day and uh, almost forgot to do it. So I'm glad I remembered. My kids are at school today. It's so nice and quiet. Well, the older two are at school. The younger one's here with me, Charlie. But I've got a second grader and a fifth grader this year. And it was so sweet because when I was taking them to school, I don't normally drop them off. They usually ride with a friend. But this, this today, they couldn't ride with somebody, so I had to take them. And I walked, went ahead and walked them in. That way they'd know which classroom to go to and help them get their supplies inside. And... Um, as I'm walking Travis, my oldest, he's going to be 11 in October. I was walking him to his classroom, and we were in the hallway, and he's going to be in fifth grade this year. He reached over and held my hand, and I thought, to, and I immediately thought to myself, how many fifth graders would reach over and hold their mama's hand right there in the elementary school hallway? And I thought, he probably won't do this next year. I bet he probably won't even want me to come in the building with him next year when he goes to sixth grade. So... It made me just a little bit sad because it's probably the last time he'll do that. I mean, my second grader didn't even hold my hand today. He just, like, walked right in like, I've got this, Mom. You can leave now. <laughs> so, I don't know when that sweet little hand-holding stops, but I have a feeling it's going to be sometime within the next year because he's going to suddenly realize that he's 10 going on 11 and he's too cool for Mama. So some of you mamas of the older boys, you can kind of give me a heads up and let me know when to expect that. I'm just putting a quick second coat on some of these white polka dots that don't look completely white, white, because I want them pretty bright. Keep running out of white paint. I've had a couple of people ask me too lately when I'm going to start filming my video that is how to run a door hanger business. Um, I'm probably going to start that sometime this week, if not the beginning of next week. I was kind of putting it off and waiting until the kids go to school just because when they're home all day every day, I can't hardly carry a thought, let alone sit here and try to film something. So maybe now that they're back in school, I can put her down for a nap and... Um, get some things done and get some filming done. Tried to get her to take a nap today and she was not having it. She laid down for a little bit, but she, I don't think she ever went to sleep. So anyways, we skipped our nap yesterday. I hope that's not going to be the case every day. But yesterday we were busy running back and forth from Nashville to here. So she didn't get a nap. Okay, we got our polka dots done. Now... We can do like the accents and stuff. I'm not seeing any new comments pop up. I don't know if everybody's just being really quiet or if Facebook has kind of gone off the rails and decided not to let me know when everybody's commenting. So hopefully you're all still able to see me and hear me. You guys are abnormally quiet. All right, I'm gonna do a couple of little white accents like on the leaf here. And then a little bit on the stem. And then I'm going to do some black. I've had lots of people too ask me lately if I sell the blank cutouts. I do. Um, I actually have a lot of them on my website listed. And they're under a special section of the sh shop called uh, blank door hangers so they're usually about $15 each and they are um, 
<laughs> I see a comment now, Tammy. You only see four comments total. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I guess everybody's just being quiet today. Maybe everybody's at work and trying to be sneaky and they can't talk. I'm just going to put a little outline around this and I'm going to do a little few dots for cuteness. But anyways, if you're wanting to order the blank door hangers and paint them yourself, um, they're at southernadornmentsdecor.com. Adornments has two O's, like door. Okay, and this lady's name is Mrs. Ladd. So I'm going to use this really wide brush, which I don't normally use for lettering. But I like to use it for lettering when I've got, I got water dripping on my door hanger. I'll get that up in a minute. Uh, when I've got a really big space to write wording on. Hello, Ryan. You said you're using your husband's Facebook. Oh, so your name's not Ryan. You're Bridget. Yes, you ordered, you were the one that ordered the monogram from me. I remember you. You look forward to these every day. I really appreciate that. I look forward to reading all of y'all's comments. It's like, it's funny because after I do this, I hop off and I immediately get on my phone and I'm like, okay, did I miss anybody's comments? And I go reading through them and it's like Christmas for me to sit here and see what all you guys say. And it just like, I don't know, it brings so much joy to my heart to read your all's comments and see how much you enjoy these videos. So, okay, I'm using this wide brush because I've got a really big area to do the lettering. So, I'm, her, her name was Mrs. Ladd. So, great big M. I love doing the big lettering because I don't get to do it very often. So it, And it's almost easier because you don't have to try to fit it in a small spot. Try to not talk too much while I'm doing lettering because I have a tendency to misspell somebody's name. I think I'm going to put a couple of, these are called serifs. In case you've ever seen that in a font where it says serif, S-E-R-I-F, that means it's got these little uh, things on the ends of the letters. They're called serifs. So, just a little tidbit of information for you. There you go, Mrs. Ladd. And I know a lot of people the other day were like, why are you painting it backwards? Are you supposed to paint on that side? It's because I have to film in selfie mode so I can see what I'm doing and see if I'm on camera and it flips the image. So it's not misspelled. It's not spelled backwards. It's just backwards for you guys. So um, I'm going to make a bow for this and I'll take a picture of it and post it later on. But thank you guys for hopping on here. I'll be back tomorrow for day four. Thank you. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all. Oh, and thanks for sharing the video.